Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Today I have with me another medical grade device and this is the Agasta Sanket Life Pocket ECG Monitor. It's supposed to make uh, taking ECGs easier. So let's check it out. This is the Agasta Sanket Life 2.0 Pocket ECG Monitor. It's made in India and has an app to monitor and store the readings from the device. It works via Bluetooth and has apps for both iOS and Android. We have cloud backup which is activated when you create an account. The inbuilt algorithms would take the input values and provide insights. Looks easy to use. Let's unbox the device and set it up. The cover slides out like so. Here's the quick start guide. Pictorial and quite informative. And here's the device, quite small. We have the Sankit Life logo on top. There are two sensors on the top face. They are marked L and R. We will get to Y in a bit. Here's the third sensor, also called the side sensor. We have the on off switch at the bottom. Tap to turn it on or off. I think the batteries are below this cover. I will open it after I try out the device. We have a lanyard slot here. Now for the app. Use the QR code or search the Sankit Life app on the App Store or Play Store. This is the one, Sankit Life ECG. Sign up for an account and log in. Once in, we have a notification to register a device. So turn on Bluetooth on your phone and also turn the device on using the button below. We have a red light here. Sanket to AD. Device was found and we get a success message on screen. Now for the ECG. Tap on ECG button on screen. Standard 12 lead touch based readings. First reading is taken by placing your thumbs on the left and right sensor, also called L1. And here we go. This is how the reading looks in real time. We have the device battery level displayed on the top right. And below we have the heartbeat waveform. The red light on the device also pulsates when a reading is being taken. Second reading is taken by holding your right thumb on the R sensor and touching the side sensor to either your abdomen or left ankle. This is L2 and here we go. This is how the reading looks in real time. Keep following the on-screen instructions and make sure you have the right thumb on the R sensor when taking readings. Once done, we have a screen where you can add multiple users. As this could be used by multiple members in the family, you can also store their charts under their name. Select the user and you can also add if any other symptoms were present while taking the test. The readings are saved and we can view the heart rate and also generate a full report which will be provided as a PDF file which can be shared with your doctor. We can also share the reports directly with a doctor. The list of doctors is visible below. We need to subscribe to a plan to be able to do so. We now have the option to take an ECG or a fitness test, but for SpO2, BP and temperature, we need a higher end model called the Sanket Life Multivital. Yeah, I'm reviewing a number of medical equipment just to make sure everything is okay with me. And when I do have this equipment at home easily accessible, I can at least take a test and send the results digitally to our family doctor without a need to visit them. Also make sure to not take an ECG reading after drinking, smoking or after a vigorous movement. And I am not a medical practitioner, so cannot vouch for the accuracy of the readings. But what I can talk about is how easy it was to take the readings in the comfort of your home. And if you are someone who needs to take an emergency ECG, this device can at least help. So that was the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.